Hey guys, it's Daniel here, aka Human Car Sounds, and today we are going to build Project Lin on Forza Horizon 4. Now I know a lot of you guys are going to be like, ah oh, Dan, come on mate, this was so 2019, um, but my apologies, I actually haven't had a chance to jump on and um, have a look at this car and drive it, so I finally have a chance now, so hopefully you guys can um, come along for the ride and see me build Project Lin on a video game. Um, I've been waiting for this for so long and wanted to build um, Project Lin on here. I'm guessing it's not going to look exactly um, like the real thing, but we're going to try and get it as close as we can. Um, I'm guessing we have a Series 2 Super here with uh, Recaros and it is right-hand drive. Um, so I'm guessing they just went with a JDM or a Eurospec Supra. And I'm guessing it's probably just from the previous Forza games, um, judging by the graphics, but they look super cool. Um, what else is there to say? I hope it sounds like a Supra, that's one thing. I haven't gone and looked at other reviews on YouTube or other gamers with the Supra, but I'm really keen to take it out and uh, see how it drives and how it feels and how it sounds. So, let's jump in and take it for a quick spin. Alright, straight off the bat, it does sound like a super idling. Well, it... What? I just tripped out for a second, I accidentally pressed the throttle. It does sound like my Supra when it's idling, but I'm curious to see what it sounds like under a bit of load, so let's go in second gear. <laughs> is that... That blow valve is really tripping me out. It sounds sick. Yeah, uh, stock Supras do not sound like that. <laughs> Alright, yeah, that's a Series 2 dash for sure. Alright, I think I might go in third. Nah, may maybe fourth. Uh, just gotta find a long stretch of road. You know what? It kind of does sound mine at low RPMs. Which is really trippy. Alright, let's go back the other way. A bit more road that way. I think I might go in third or fourth for this. Now, what I'm looking for is the sequential transition, um, which is about 4,000 RPM. was almost there I would say um, the thing with the Toyota Super is with the sequential setup you feel the first turbo kick in and then about three and a half four grand there's a bit of like a split second like a dip a drop off and then the second turbo kicks in and you just pulls you back um, but let's not take it too seriously eh? it is a it is a, a video game after all and I'm just really excited that they brought the Super back and I'm celebrating with some donuts. LSD works really well. Oh, and somebody had to ruin it. Alright, enough mucking around. Let's go back to the house. And uh, do this thing up. Okay. Welcome to my crib, ladies and gentlemen. Alright, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, so Project Lin is pretty much a BPU Supra. So it doesn't have crazy mods, but still I wanted to build it 
to uh, what we have now. Uh, what have we got? Intake. So we've got a ba basic pod filter on Lynn. No cold air intake or anything like that. So we will possibly just go with a stage one. Yeah, we'll, we'll go for stage one. Uh, fuel. Um, I do have a fuel pump in there, which is a Bosch. Oh, I can't remember if it's an 044. Um, oh, ECU. Well, I do have a power of C, so I'm guessing we should install that. Uh, ignition, nothing. Um, exhaust, I do have a turbo back exhaust, which is about three and a half inch, I think. And it is super quiet. Which 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 I wanted for the street. Shout out to Castle Hill. Sh sorry, shout out to Performance Exhaust Center at Castle Hill. Um, stock cam, stock valves, stock block, uh, stock pistons. Um, oh, twin turbos. Let's see if they got the high flow set up on it on this. So stage one, which oh, 329 and oh, okay. I'm guessing that setup there is probably for a twin high mount setup like twin GT28s or something, um, 329, yeah, that kind of sounds like a high flow setup, but we're going to keep it stock, um, uh, intercooler, I'm running an ETS 4 inch court intercooler, so let's just go with the, uh, race intercooler on that one, yeah, 263, we're getting close to, um, what I pulled on the dyno, so yeah, we'll leave it at 263. Um, oil cooler, um, I do want to get one soon, but we don't have one at the moment. Flywheel, still running the stock dual mass flywheel. Um, brakes, I uh, did have non turbo NA brakes, but we do have the RZ brakes on there now, so we'll just leave that. Um, coolovers, BC racing coolovers, so we'll just go for the street ones. Uh, stock anti roll bars, stock cage weight reduction i haven't pulled anything out besides myself which is my weight loss journey that i'm going through at the moment uh clutch i still running the stock oem clutch running the v160 box still stock drive line and diff don't know how long that's gonna last um, I guess that's it for power mods and we can start doing some uh, looks department. Now I'm running the MVP front lip and I don't think they'll probably have it in this game. Um, I think mine's a V1 or maybe it's a V2 but I'm not too sure. But if you want to get a front lip for your Supra, um, go check out Prospect Imports. I'll put a link down below this video. Oh, oh they have it! They actually have the front lip! Yes! Oh, dude, yes. These front lips just change the whole front end on the Supra. Oh. Now, I'm guessing this is the different version. If you can see near the indicators, um, it points up instead of just being completely straight down. Um, that's why I've had to paint it black um, to make it look like that. See how that's the other version where it's completely up? And then you've got these ones here, which... Uh, uh, no, nah, I think we go with that one there. Oh, that looks good. That looks good. Uh, I'm still running the stock wing. Uh, rebar. Let's just have a look what they've got. Um, oh, hang on. Did I just notice that one's got a bigger exhaust than the stock one? <laughs> yes, it does. Yeah, we'll put that on. I've got a HKS um, exhaust on my one, so... Oh, that looks nice. That looks nice and clean. Uh, stock side skirts, uh, bonnet, stock as well. Would be nice if I had an aftermarket um, bonnet on there to keep temps down with the heat soak. Nido Invos, so I'm not too sure if you'd classify that as a sports tyre. I think just by looking at those tread patterns, we'll probably just leave it as a street tyre. It's alright, we can just do more sideways action. Uh, tire width, I'm running 235, oh, well, there you go, 235s, which are stock. And I've got 275s on the rear, um, which they don't have, which is a shame. 
Uh, front. Uh, actually, no, we're going to go rims first. Get the Yankees. RPF ones. Uh, rim size uh, 18s. Front and rear. And that's it, really. Now we can uh, concentrate on trying to get this color. Which is going to be very difficult to get. Alright, so um, I found a website called GT Planet where people post a photo of a color that they want that's not in the game, that's a factory color. And some amazing dude online um, can replicate that color for you. So I've actually got it saved. Um, I did get the paint code off him to make it. And here it is, ladies and gentlemen. I present to you, drum roll please, Project Lin. Let's take it out. Oh, please be sun. Yes, we've got a bit of sunlight. Oh, look at it. <laughs> it looks like when I freshly got this car back, freshly painted. Oh, and it's damaged already. Nothing to see here. Nothing to see here. Like nothing happened. Alright, let's try and get the best angle. Look, it's already it's already bloody dirty. Let's have a close up to see. Now, usually in the dark, when I put a light on it. You can see this uh, flake through it. It's absolutely gorgeous. Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, that is amazing. Oh, I wish they could get gold calipers. Oh, look at that. Look at that. <laughs> I wish the calipers could be painted and the number plate wasn't yellow if I could put my um, black ones on there uh, there it is guys Project Lean yeah I definitely don't uh launch my car like that in real life. I'll tell you what, I wish my blow valve sounded like that. You know what? Yeah, it does actually kind of feel like a 270 kilowatt Supra. Okay, so we are back home. Um, let's go back to the performance upgrades and tuning, sorry and see how this car would go with a high flow setup. 
So that's uh, fuel rail, injectors, and high flow turbo. Yeah, we got to. Should I? Yeah, fuel rail's got to go in. Um, what's that? Is that for better spark plugs? I'm not too sure. I doubt that's going to give you an extra four kilowatts. Hmm. Uh, cams. No, no cams. Let's get this turbo set up. So, oh yeah, 346. That's a nice bit of torque there. 600 newton meters. Now that we're going to be running more power, we definitely need to upgrade the flywheel because we'll be upgrading the clutch. And we'll have to get rid of the dual mass flywheel. Um, actually, actually, you know what? Let's put cams in it. If I was to run a high flow setup and go all out, it'd be E85 and cams. Um, I don't think this game is rating the power with cams. I don't know. Uh, with E85, sorry. So I think we just put some basic cams and definitely got to do valve springs. Definitely got to do valves with the uh, cams. Um, well, there you go. We see 399 kilowatts, which is uh, pretty fast for a streetcar. Uh, yeah, don't forget, we've got to get the clutch. Um, oh, I'm pretty keen to see how this goes. It's still in grade A, which is good. 100% if I was to upgrade the tires, that would have put it in the uh, S class. Oh, this is going to be fun. Also, make sure to subscribe if you're new to this channel. Hit that subscribe button, guys. Yeah! <laughs> I can already tell it feels quicker down low. And of course, it's dirty again. Change keys, mate. <laughs> this is fun. It's a lot easier to kick out with more power. Oh, tractor! <laughs> oh, that is so much fun. Alright, let's go back into the garage and do some more mods. Okay, I think now that we've done the twin turbo setup, I think it's time for us to go single turbo. We'll go back to stock twins. Uh, aspiration, yeah. That's a twin turbo setup. Oh! Huh! So the single setup will get us exactly the same amount as the twin turbos. 399 kilowatts, that's probably like a GT3576 or like a 3582 or something like that. Let's upgrade the air filter. Yeah, let's just go all out. Let's see how much power we're going to get out of this thing. 
It's definitely going to get a thousand horsepower. It's not a super without a thousand horsepower. Am I, am I right, guys and girls? Yes, 3.4 litre. Yes, please. Real street package right here. Forge pistons. And we... Oh, look at that. Is that a, is that a log manifold? I actually... I think that's a log manifold, guys. That... Yeah, that's got to be a log manifold. And then next to it is twin gates with a big single on it. And then the third one across looks like a big T88 or something on there with that massive compressor on it. Twin gates, and I think that's a boost controller next to it. Look at the dyno chart. Look at the graph. Holy crap, it's off the scale. 1,183 kilowatts. Yeah, I'll be running a dry sump too. Wow, that's big power. Big power. We're going to need some big brakes to stop that. Um, nah, I think it's too low. I think we'll stay for suspension. Uh, Anti-roll bars. Yeah, why not? A uh, cage. Should we put a cage in it? Mm. Nah, go straight car. Weight reduction. Take the batteries out. Yeah, might as well. We'll put a relocation kit, like a small Optima battery or something. Um, yeah, we're going to need a upgraded clutch transmission. V160. Ah, she'll be right. She can hold it. Uh, drive line. Yeah, we're gonna have to upgrade that, and we'll put in a race diff as well. So that thing's gonna spin all day, every day. Uh, we're gonna have to upgrade the tires. Yeah. Uh, definitely. Uh, drag. Should we? Oh, should we run drag setup? Or should we? Ah, I reckon we just go after the race tire. Um, tire width, 285s, 345s, yeah, definitely going to need them, um, yeah, make it really fat on the, oh, that is fat, um, I think we should just leave fat on the rear and then kind of thin at the front, <laughs> Uh, I, I'm predicting that this thing is just going to wheel spin all the way up to possibly 5th gear. And let's see if it sounds different. Hey, the backfire. <laughs> oh, that ball valve. <laughs> whoa, whoa. Oh. <laughs> Was not expecting it to snap like that. Jeez. Fourth gear. This thing is fast. Oh man, I cannot keep this together, eh? Let's try and find a bit of straight road. Oh, I'm l literally like two minutes away from it. Not even. Take a shortcut.
Okay. Let's try and warm the tyres up first. How did that bog down when I just spun all five gears? My bad, guys. Oops. Oh. I was wasn't even paying attention there. Three twenty, three forty, three fifty, three sixty, three seventy, three seventy eight. Oh. Sorry, my bad again. 378 kilometers! I haven't even tuned or anything. And I'm off to the moon. Well, there you have it, guys. Project Lin is made on Forza Horizon 4. Um, just want to say thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Comment down below of what you thought about Project Lin on Forza Horizon. And last but not least, make sure to hit that subscribe button, guys, and that notification bell next to it to keep up with our latest videos. We'll see you next time. Okay.